Greetings, fair earthlings. I am Smelly B, and I'd like to thank, welcome you either to or back to my channel where the topic of conversation is all fragrance, all the goddamn time. Um, and in doing my housekeeping as usual, letting y'all know up front, I am not an expert. I'm not claiming to be. I ain't training to be. I'm not stomping with the big dogs. Everything I know is real sort of, you know, elementary level, and it really just coming from my gut and what, how I experience things and how, you know, it, me soliciting you all's feedback also because i'm here to learn from you and I'm, I'm a baby in this so don't 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 look for no expertise over here <laughs> all right you know got that out of the way um i want to talk about a couple of uh fragrances i came across in my travels the other day that are not new but new to me they came out you know over the span of 2020 2021 when nobody else shopping and smelling things on the shelves and stuff so these these sort of slid under the radar for me um, I found them in Nordstrom Rack in my just traveling around sniffing to see what they had. Um, Flankers for Aqualina's Pink Sugar, which I'm sure most of us are familiar with if you like fragrances at all. I don't know what year Pink Sugar itself launched, but that's been around for some time. It's a staple in many people's uh, fragrance wardrobe. It's sort of sticky sweet, really a, a candy gourmand. Like you, you got caramel, cotton candy um there's some fruity notes in there i want to say like uh licorice fig leaf and um i think i said caramel and i think there's tonka in it like it, it's just really a really really sweet uh fragrance however it doesn't turn juvenile which is why i appreciate pink sugar um and and still very much wear it you know i like it um when i'm in the mood for it but nevertheless, neither here nor there. Their flank is for it now, which I was just like, pink sugar, red velvet. When did this come out? Um, the ones I came across, and I don't know if they're more, uh, but pink sugar, berry blast is one of them, which is a fruity floral uh, gourmand. There's the red velvet, which I just mentioned, pink sugar, red velvet. And then there's one pink, pink sugar, creamy sunshine um, that I didn't know what to expect from, but I, I will say I'm pleasantly surprised um what by what they've been able to do with at least the one of them i'll go through them all okay all right let me let me show you so where do i start here let's start with the one that's the closest to in my opinion the right the normal you know big mama pink sugar it doesn't deviate much from it that's the pink sugar red velvet um as far as notes go it's got strawberry and bergamot in the top the mids are, uh, you got sweet notes. I guess that's sort of just the more candy-ish, uh, sort of jelly smelling notes. You got sweet notes, orange blossom, violet, and lily. And then the base is whipped cream, vanilla, and ambretta live. Child, I don't know. I, I don't know how to, I don't know if it's a little, sort of molecular compound, one of those things. I don't know, it's, you know, sort of a synthetic note. Look it up if you want to learn about it. I'm not in the business of um, the science. <laughs> that's not where I am. I'm That's outside my realm of you know understanding so look it up if you're curious about it and bread a lot i believe is how you say it this one for me is the closest to the regular old standard pink sugar and i enjoy it i will say for me the way they come across if pink sugar is a is a marshmallow this is a toasted marshmallow does that make sense and it's not that it's smoky at all it's just you know how uh, when you when you cook sugar, you know what I mean. It, it, when it becomes candy, then you get that it, it sort of caramelized aspect to it, where it's got a warmth to it, not necessarily a smoke. You know, it, that's how this comes across to me. It's like a like a like hot, <laughs> like 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 there's a warmth to it. It's like candied the candied sugar. Pink sugar is yes, the normal one. Sort of has that vibe too, but this this one's warmer for me. It smells like like more icingy somehow, more. Uh, when I see whipped cream in the nose, that comes across for me. Like it's, I expect it to seem like marshmallow or something. This it's not in the nose, but but I like this. It's, if you have normal pink sugar, this probably isn't worth it to go spend the extra, even though they only cost like twenty some bucks. At least that's what I got mine. Um, probably not worth it to have both. But if you don't have either, I'd probably get the the red velvet. I like it. I enjoy it. So next up. Um, it's sort of taken as we're inching away from home base, you know, sort of the core DNA of uh, pink sugar is the berry blast. I'm sorry, I should have shown you all the 
Can you see that? It's blue, child. All of the bottles are the same. It's just that the coloring changes a bit. You see? Same style of bottle. Just the, the coloring changes, which let me I have to say, I hate these bottles. I think they look really juvenile and they, I just, I wish they looked, I wish they'd market it differently, but it, it just looks really juvenile to me. Nevertheless, um, the Berry Blast. I don't hate it. It does it maintain sort of the same sort of feel of regular pink sugar, just with some extra stuff splashed in it. It is fr fruity. Um, you could look up the notes, and I always urge people to go on fragrance and figure it out. <laughs> I don't always want to look them up because um, that's not as important to me. But the, the berry blast in the top is you know, uh, it's considered never uh, starting as a floral fruity gourmand. Launched in 2020, just as the uh, the next one we're going to show you, the, the um, Creamy Sunshine. Um, top notes, blueberry, blackberry, orange, bergamot. In the mid, you have cotton candy, cherry, wild strawberry, and cork, which is something I've never seen. Or if I have seen it, it's something I don't remember it. Again, I'm not really a note snob like that. I don't really commit that stuff to memory. And there's nothing against that, you know, so maybe someday, you know, I'll, I'll graduate to that. But right now, it's not something I really, you know... I'm not a purist that way. Um, but cork, and then in the bottom, you have caramel, vanilla, tonka, cedar, and moss. Now, for me, it's the woody notes and the dry notes that save this for me, because otherwise I wouldn't like it. I don't like fruity berry notes as much in a sweet fragrance, just because they start to turn a little cough syrupy for me. It starts to remind me of the stuff, you know, ro Robitussin and... Um, diamond tap and stuff like that where you know it's medicine but they try and give it a it's a real synthetic fruity sort of you know grape <laughs> purple uh fragrance and this starts to do that for me a little bit and i in the top i don't like it it's not a hate it's not bad per se but it's a personal thing for me it really just comes across medicinal for for me in the top but when you give it time you come, I wave my arm past myself, like, wait a minute, that, that went somewhere I kind of like. And that is because that sort of that the, the cedar and moss in the base and, you know, the tonk and all of that really just, it, it saves the day for me. It, it turns it back into, you know, steers it, steers it off the line of becoming medicinal. And it's, it's wearable, like it, it's manageable. Um... I won't wear this a lot. I don't, I don't think I wear this a lot. If I'm in the mood for it, I'm in the house, I wear it around. And it's not bad at all. If you like berry fragrances and you don't mind fruity, it's just not my bag. You know what I mean? It's purely personal preference thing. It's not bad. Um, I don't regret buying it, I say that. Again, if you have normal pink sugar, wear that. It's not worth it going out to get um, this. However, so in the last one I picked up, also launched in 2020. Uh, it's, it's looking all sloppy. I peeled the... Uh, it becomes packaged all wrapped in this sort of plastic or whatever you want to call it. I should have pulled it all the way off when I got it and I didn't because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'll get all of this stuff off eventually. Well, I'm almost there. That's, that, that, that's paper. Um, so this is, again, the Creamy Sunshine. EDC also, same deal with the packaging. The packaging doesn't really change much. It just change up the uh, the coloring a bit. I'm surprised the dent didn't look lower in this because I, I bathe in this stuff. I like this one. And this one, so far for me, is the one that deviates most from just the core regular DNA of pink sugar. This is this one's different. It's there, but this is this one has a lot of, you know, sort of, it's a little more dynamic. There's other stuff going on. It, it leans more floral. Um, you got your white florals going on in here. I don't really care for white florals that much. But they work here. Coupled with all of the rest of the goodness. on the, And there's a... Mm, let me keep track of my thoughts here. So, launched in 2020. Top notes, coconut milk, orange, green mandarin, and bergamot. The mids are sugar, ylang ylang, uh, tiara flower, gardenia, and mimosa. The, uh, in Minoy oil, I'm not familiar with that, but I'll, I'll have to look that up myself and get familiar. Um, the base is vanilla, caramel, sandalwood, and moss. 
I like this one and I think it's that coconut bit that's doing it for me. That's what's making the white florals manageable for me. I like this. So so for me, I think it's a it's a nostalgic thing. I'm funneling this through memories of being a little black girl and the stuff we used to use in our hair. Your your blue magic uh hair grease. Your kidney oil, hot six oil, stuff like that, where it's real, real sweet, but then it, it sort of has tropical notes going on. It's got that coconut thing, sometimes pineapple. This is that for me. This this makes me think of black girl hair products. <laughs> and if you're a black girl, you know what I mean. With the stuff like, I know I always grew up, especially with the, um, I think it was, I believe it was called Kimi Oil. K-E-M-I. I'll have to look that up. But in this little, little tiny oil thing, you only need a little bit for your hair, but it smells so good. And I always wished, like, that it was an actual fragrance. Like, I wish they made lotion of this or some type of little body spray or something. This is close to that for me. I like it. It's got a warmth to it, but it's still, you know, the, the white florals give it where, where it's, it's not too dense it, it gives it it gives it some it lifts some of the weight off of it um in a good way i do enjoy the coconut aspect going on here i think that's what's selling it for me all together and then it does keep it you know sort of the sweetness of your your vanilla and tonk and all that good stuff going on in the bottom i like this one this one now we're gonna if you have the normal pink sugar pick this one up too you know what I say? This one, this one is different enough from the normal one to go ahead and pick this one up also. I enjoy this quite a bit. I would say it's probably more spring, summer wear. Um, maybe even it, spring, summer nice just because it is dense a bit still. It's still very sweet. Um, but I, I wear what I want when I want. The time of year doesn't really much affect that for me. I'm going to wear this. I've been wearing it since I got it. And it's only been a couple weeks since I came across this. I really, really like it. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little something on now. I like this one. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Pink Sugar, Creamy Sunshine, 2020. The Berry Blast was 2020 also. And... When did that red velvet? I forget when the, when the release on that was. Oh, that was twenty twenty one. The red velvet was twenty twenty one. So I guess I'm not too late to the party, especially given pandemic and stuff. Um, the way it's changed, you know, our ability to go out and come across things. But I'm happy I stumbled upon them. Check them out if you come across them. Give them a sniff. Get your nose on them, especially that creamy sunshine one. I do like that one quite a bit. Um. If you have these and already know about them, let me know your opinions. How they come across to you? How do you experience them? When do you think it's appropriate to wear them? Are they worth getting if you already got normal pink sugar? Do you even like the normal pink sugar? All your feedback is welcome. If you want to point me to other things I'm interested in, whatever you all have to say. Again, I'm here for the community. It's not to posture myself as an expert or to show off how many bottles I got. I don't, you know, how I flex on y'all. I'm that's not this channel. It is very much it's a you know, I'm low to the ground. I'm, I'm here to to meet y'all. So talk to me, holla at me. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Say hey in the comments, whatever. Subscribe if you will. <laughs> if you won't, child, I'm not judging. Um, until next time, I do hope you are well. Be well. Deuces.